and change it to white. Hello. Hi, I'm Matt and this is Not Enough Tech. Today I'm going to show you how to map IKEA Trad3 remote into Node Red so you could control the lights that aren't IKEA. So for example, this is Zemi Smart Downlight and it's Zigbee enabled so when I press the button it works. Obviously the device you want to control doesn't have to be Zigbee, it goes to Node Red so as long as it's connected to Node Red you can control it. And that's most important thing in this case because uh, previously without that these lights would only work with IKEA devices even um, if IKEA stuff is integrated with Mi Home I was not able to successfully link any of them with a different than IKEA devices. Now I've introduced a couple of extra functions so now you can assign a favorites up to two favorites uh, by long pressing the buttons and you can also change the brightness incrementally so by uh, clicking and holding the button it will increase or decrease the brightness until the level you're satisfied with. Now let me show you a quick um, showcase first and then we're gonna dive into the node red and I'll explain how I did it and obviously as usual guys everything is in the description of this video so if you want to read it at your own pace uh, check the link out check the article and you'll find the downloads there as well so that's the IKEA Trad3 remote now it comes with some basic functions like your toggle and your brightness controls up and down and changing the devices, so if I press once, it will go to the next device, which, uh, which is here, this one. And if I press it again, it will go back because I only have two devices uh, linked, but it will control um, up to unlimited number of devices. But there's a couple of extra functions I've added. First of all, if you hold and press, it will select the default device. And right now the default device is this, that's two favorites. So can control this one and if I hold this it will select uh, this lamp again. Now there are some uh, controls for uh, more refined brightness control so if I press and hold it will do small increments of setting the brightness. When you connect Node Red and a remote from IKEA together you're gonna end up with 13 different actions and those actions are listed in here. So you're gonna have your toggle, your clicks uh, with arrows, your brightness up and down, plus uh, you're gonna have an access to a hold and release actions and all those are listed in this um, switch node. Now, before we even start with this, first of all, you have to create a list or an array of your devices. I have two connected and use the names associated with the uh, uh, Zigbee 2MQTT because we're gonna need that later. So for each device just list them in our array and then push them to um, the global list of devices in here just Zigbee lights. We're gonna use that later to cycle through the devices and set correct topics. Now for each light I also have um, the MQTT in node which gonna just uh, be passed as JSON and I'm going to save the values brightness and state because I'm controlling brightness and state and I'm gonna need the current readouts from each light so for every light visible here I create that set. Now once you're ready before we're gonna start into toggling everything we need to learn how to change the devices there are two ways of doing so First of all, when you press and hold, we can use these actions. So I have them here. Let me just open this. Uh, we have an arrow right release and arrow left release. So those actions can be used to actually uh, set favorites. So we can only set two favorites, but that's going to be a nice shortcut if you don't want to cycle through all the devices, but you just want to go and uh, pick the device from your favorites. So when one arrow is released, so in here the right arrow. I'm going to set an active device and I've hard coded the name Spotlight One. And when the left one is clicked, I've used active device as a flow variable and it's set to um, IKEA Bulb 2. 
Now once this is done there is one more way we can actually cycle through so it's pressing the buttons instead of holding it and I've created two very similar function nodes that's going to perform this. You're going to go through all available devices and select the one you want. So let's have a look at the script. It's very simple. So I'm first I'm loading all the devices into a variable. Then I check how uh, big is this array. It's an array. So we need to remember to remove one because the array counts starts from zero. Then I'm going to set a variable if it's not set. Uh, count and this count is going to be persistent so each time um, node red will know what was the number and if the number is one I'm, I'm sorry if the number is zero I'm picking this first element from the array if the number is two uh, I'm picking the third element and so on and so on so each time I press the button I'll check what was uh, stored in that variable and then I'm going to add one and save it so on the next the next time I press the button uh, the count will increase by one until the total uh, which is X and the X in here is just the maximum number of devices I have in uh, the array and if that happens it's, uh, it resets back to zero so once it's done uh, I'm obviously selecting the current device and I'm storing this device in the variable now for going back so going one the, to the previous device everything is pretty much the same apart from I'm counting it down and I'm changing slightly the boundaries in here so if the count goes below zero I'm resetting x to x and x was the highest element in array well, that's pretty much it now that I can actually control uh, the devices and change them um, I'm going to use that information to obviously toggle the lights on and off now previously um, I've set the value of the device into those to the those context variables in here so each time i will check which device is currently active now once i know which device is active i know which device state i should update so i'm going to get that from this get that from the current state and uh, that is composed from the um, device and the state and then i can read that so the state's going to be either on or off or sometimes undefined if it's not set so you might include that in as well and obviously i'm going to set that state to a positive value and then return it as a payload and send it to um device based on the topic because mqtt requires the topic if you want to change the device so the topic in this case is default topic from zigbee to mqtt and then we have a device name which we store to an active device and then we use a set and all that is passed to the MQTT out. So in the same, uh, so that applies basically to all toggling devices. Same if the um, value was off, I'm doing the opposite setting to on, compose the topic, compose the payload and send that over. Now, when you want to change the values of brightness, there are two ways of doing it. We can do it by click. So those are responsible for click up and down and I'm changing the value by 50. So what you're gonna see inside, that uh, I'm taking a current state for brightness from the active device in a very similar way. I'm checking what is the device active, compose the um, variable current state, and then I get the current state of the brightness and iterate it by 30. So I increase the value by 30, making sure that the brightness stays between these boundaries. So cannot be lower than zero, cannot be more than 255. If it's more than 255, I'm setting it to 255 if it's less than zero i'm setting it to zero and then again i've composed the message payload which is brightness and i set the current value of brightness and the device it's a message topic which i composed in the same way as before and i do that uh, for the edge values so 255 for the edge value zero and anything in between gets its own uh, value assigned now the other way of controlling brightness is pressing down the button and increasing the brightness up and down incrementally until desired level. And I've talked about this before in my uh, Xiaomi button when I used smart uh, controls uh, for button. I was holding down the button and the brightness would, would increase or decrease based on um, the current value. And this is what you can see in here. 
So when I press down the button, I start a loop. So this is the loop in here. So message goes from brightness, it's being changed to from message feedback to payload, waits half a second, and then if the loop is open, it goes back for the iteration and iterates by a number again and goes all that loop constantly until I release the button. That's why this is linked to the uh, button brightness down and br button brightness release. So you can see this here and you can see this here, this pair. So that's basically a similar action for brightness up and down. And those brightness up and down actions or the function is very similar to the incremental one I did before. However, the only difference is that increment is smaller. You can control it to, to your degree. And each time I'm sending a message feedback as well. That message feedback is what goes through the loop in iteration. So every time this um, brightness up or down uh, functional triggers, it sends the current payload with the brightness as before to uh, my light and it sends the message feedback for iteration. Uh, to control edge case scenarios, I had to add in my conditions a message feedback as well to make sure message feedback doesn't go over uh, specified value. Now, this message feedback equals to 55 because it's uh, essentially set by uh, this and in edge case scenarios also it's gonna be reset again and sent for iteration however it will never reach there because i'm gonna release the button by then so in else case scenarios and so this is for most of the part that's what's gonna be uh, happening in here i'm going to be setting again the topic for the device I'm going to setting a payload and sending a payload and the feedback for iteration so that's how you control uh, the brightness by holding at the button and waiting until the brightness level reaches um, correct level. Uh, for the brightness down, for going down, it's exactly the same, it's just the values um, minus, and uh, obviously these, these values are adjusted accordingly. All right, that's pretty awesome, and obviously it doesn't end there. I've just merely recreated original controls from IKEA, Trad free remote, but you can link it to your curtains, you can link it to the garage, make a garage controller, you can link to a different light, whether they are Wi Fi, etc., computers, you name it. Um, as for the next video, we're going to be dealing with this, and this is a IKEA motion sensor. We're gonna go through exactly the same motions, <laughs> <That's> fun, <laughs> and I'm gonna show you how to integrate it with Node-RED and control stuff with it. So, I don't have a posting schedule, guys, so do follow me on social media to get updates whenever something new is up. And use the YouTube system and that, that, that unfortunate bell that notifies you about new videos if you want to make sure you're not going to miss a next one. As for now, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.